Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Sophia of Prussia Sophia of Prussia was queen consort of the Hellenes during 1913-1917 and 1920-1922. A member of the House of Hohenzollern and daughter of Emperor Frederick III of Germany. Sophia received a liberal and Anglophile education, under the supervision of her mother, Victoria, Princess Royal. In 1889, less than a year after the death of her father, she married her third cousin the Diadochos Constantine, Duke of Sparta, and heir of the Greek throne. After a difficult period of adaptation in her new country, Sophia gave birth to six children and became involved in the assistance to the poor. Following in the footsteps of her mother-in-law, Queen Olga. However, it was during the wars which Greece faced during the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century that Sophia showed the most social activity. She founded field hotels, oversaw the training of Greek nurses and even she herself healed wounded soldiers. However, Sophia was hardly rewarded for her actions, even after her grandmother, Queen Victoria, decorated her with the Royal Red Cross after the Thirty Days' War. The Greeks criticized her links with Germany. Her brother, Emperor William II, was indeed an ally of the Ottoman Empire and openly opposed the construction of the Megali idea which could establish a Greek state that would encompass all ethnic Greek-inhabited areas. During World War I, the blood ties between Sophia and the German Emperor also caused the suspicion of the Triple Entente, which accuses Constantine I for his neutrality in the conflict. After imposing a blockade of Greece, and supporting the rebel government of Eleftherios Venizelos, causing the national schism, France and its allies deposed Constantine I in June 1917. Sophia and her family then went into exile in Switzerland, while the second son of the royal couple replaced his father on the throne under the name of Alexander I. At the same time, Greece entered the war alongside the Triple Entente which allowed it to grow considerably. After the outbreak of the Greco-Turkish War in 1919, and the untimely death of Alexander I, the following year, the Venizelists abandoned power, allowing the royal family's return to Athens. The defeat of the Greek army against the Turkish troops of Mustafa Kemal, however, forced Constantine I to abdicate in favor of his eldest son George II in 1922. Sophia and her family then were forced to a new exile and settled in Italy, where Constantine died one year later. With the proclamation of the Republic in Athens, Sophia spent her last years alongside her family and died of cancer in Germany in 1932 birth in a difficult context. Princess Sophie was born in the Neuss Palais in Potsdam, Prussia on 14 June 1870. Her father, Crown Prince Frederick of Prussia, and her mother, Victoria, Princess Royal of the United Kingdom were already the parents of a large family. And as the penultimate child, Sophie was 11 years younger than her eldest brother. The future Emperor William II of Germany, Frederick and Victoria were a close couple, both on sentimental and political levels. Being staunch liberals, they lived away from the Berlin court, and suffered the intrigues of a very conservative Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, and members of the House of Hohenzollern. A week after Sophie's birth, a case relating to succession to the throne of Spain damaged the Franco-Prussian relations. The tone between Paris and Berlin worsened even further after Bismarck published the humiliating Ems telegram on 13 July 1870. Six days later, the government of Napoleon III declared war on Prussia, and the states of the German Confederation offered support to Prussia. 
which then appeared as the victim of French imperialism. It was in this difficult context that Sophie was christened the following month. Though all the men present were in uniform, as France had declared war on Prussia. Sophie's mother described the event to Queen Victoria, the christening went off well, but was sad, and serious anxious faces and tearful eyes, and a gloom, and foreshadowing of all the misery in store spread a cloud over the ceremony, which should have been one of gladness and thanksgiving. However, the conflict lasted only a few months and even led to a brilliant German victory, leading to the proclamation of Sophie's grandfather King William I of Prussia as the first German emperor on 18 January 1871. Anglophile Education Sophie was known as Saucy during her childhood. The children of the crown princely couple became grouped into two by age William, Charlotte, and Henry who were favoured by their paternal grandparents, while Sophie, Margaret, and Victoria were largely ignored by them. Sophie's two other brothers, Sigismund and Valdemar, died at a young age. This drew the crown princess and her three daughters closer together, calling them, my three sweet girls and, my trio, the crown princess, believing in the superiority of all things English had her children's nurseries modelled on her childhood. Sophie was raised with a great love for England and all things associated with it as a result, and had frequent trips to visit her grandmother Queen Victoria, whom she loved. Sophie often stayed in England for long periods, especially on the Isle of Wight, where she liked to collect shells with her older siblings because she was generally avoided by her paternal grandparents. Sophia's formative years were mainly shaped by her parents and her maternal grandmother Queen Victoria. As a little girl she was so deeply attached to the old British sovereign that the Crown Princess didn't hesitate to leave her daughter for long periods under the care of her grandmother. In Germany, Sophie largely stayed with her parents at two main residences, the Kronprinz and Palais in Berlin, and the Neuss Palais in Potsdam. Like her sisters Victoria and Margaret, she was particularly close to her parents and the relationship became even closer after the death, in 1879, of Valdemar, the favorite son of the crown princely couple. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.